What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. We're going to focus in on the Nashville Predators getting hot down the stretch as the Preds have recorded a uh, point in 13 straight games. Obviously, not a good thing to lose to uh, Calgary. Let's just get, let's get that out there. But you know, right now going into the playoffs, they look like they will be a force to be reckoned with. If the season ended today, they would play the winner of the Pacific Division. So. Right now, L.A., who is also very hot, which would be a thrilling, thrilling seven-game first-round series feature. And, you know, two really good goalies. Pekka Rene has hit his form lately, you know, after having a really, really shitty start. And then, uh, you know, two of the best defense, three of the best defensemen in the league, between Roman Yossi, Shea Weber, and the best defenseman in the league, uh, Drew Doughty. So, I mean, it's just a, it would be a phenomenal matchup. And I think you look at the Philip Forsbergs play as of late, you know, I think early on, you could have said he had a sophomore slump, but, you know, he had two hat-tricks in four days and, you know, really just, just hit his stride. And, you know, 52 points in 68 games on the season. He's nine points off his – or 11 points away from matching rookie total. And, uh, you know, he set up for a nice contract this summer. Um, again, you, you just look at his, his body of work, the team's body of work, and, uh, you know, the fact that they're a new team. And they were, yeah, they're, they're a different-looking Predator squad than they have been in recent years. You know, having a legitimate number one center like Ryan Johansson kind of changes that. And, you know, I know you had to go up Seth Jones for him, but you still have Roman Yossi, Shea Weber, Ekholm, Ellis. You know, your, your blue line is still a, a strength of the team. And, uh, you know, your forward core is strong in the path. And so, you know, again, this is going to be a tough team. Nobody wants to play in the playoffs. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to see what they do going forward. They were one of my preseason picks to go to the Western Conference Finals. Obviously, you know, they, they had some inconsistencies this year and, uh, you know, didn't exactly, you know, dominate the way I thought they would. But Pekka Rene, again, is playing a lot better as of late. And uh, he's doing his thing. And the, the team's, you know, getting productivity throughout the lineup. They will be a tough, tough out for even the best teams in the league. So I'm excited to see what the next few weeks hold for Nashville and uh, whether or not this team does go on a lengthy playoff run and reach the Western Conference Finals for the first time in, play in franchise history. Anyway, that's all I got. This episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.